Hello. In this lecture, we're going to talk more in depth about the Song of the Spheres and about the Medallion. Both of these tools are our new tools. They're very special. They're very beneficial. You've probably already watched the short video talking about the Song and the Medallion. This one is going to be more in depth, giving more information from Ascended Master Lantos about the Song of the Spheres and about the Medallion. Now, for those of you who are not familiar with biogenesis, you will wonder who Ascended Master Lantos is and how we get information from him. For this, you may want to watch the Introduction to Biogenesis video because that goes in depth about Lantos and about our company and our long history with Lantos. But for this video, I'll just briefly tell you that my sister, Cindy, has had the ability to see angels and other types of celestial beings pretty much all her life. Since she was about three years old, she has been actively speaking with, actively viewing and observing these beings. And starting in 1997, one came to her named Ascended Master Lantos. That was actually the very first being that Cindy spoke with directly and interacted with on a verbal basis. Lanto spoke with her for a year and a half, and then he introduced a new technology, a technology that was many millions of years old, but which had not been on Earth since the days of Atlantis. That technology is known as biogenesis. We've been around for 20 years, spreading those tools of light all around the world, those tools of light that provide benefits to people with their physical body, with their emotions, with their mental state, uh, and general issues of life, especially with the family and with work. But recently, just within the last year, Lantos introduced a new set of tools, well, two new tools, the Song of the Spheres and the Medallion. These tools do not replace the other tools of biogenesis, but they complement them. They add to them, and Lantos refers to just a few of the tools as master tools of biogenesis. This means that they are of supreme importance, they are of supreme effectiveness. These two tools, the Song of the Spheres and the Medallion, count as master tools of biogenesis. Now, in this lecture, we're going to be going over some information that Lantos has given to my sister, Cindy. I prefer to read those messages directly because his words are much better than mine, and also it helps to give a complete understanding on your part of how we have this information. Because as I read these messages to you, you will see how we received this information ourselves. Okay, let's start with a basic excerpt from a message from Lantos talking to Cindy about the song in the medallion. He said, the song and the medallion are the great tools, the great tools of our beloved master teacher, Tote. Now, let me take a moment right there and say that in addition to Lantos, my sister Cindy has spoken with other beings, but we generally don't share that information with anybody else because the information that Cindy has gleaned from speaking with other ascended beings has not dealt with our business. It has not dealt with the tools that we are supposed to get out into the world. It has just been for my family's information. So we generally don't share that information with people. However, there is another being that Lantos introduced us to four or five years ago named Tote. Now that's spelled T-H-O-T-H, -H, but it is pronounced Tote. Master Teacher Tote is his full title. And Lantos has explained that Tote is considered one of the early beings in creation. That means that there were four beings in creation uh, that came into existence just before creation itself was brought into existence. Master Teacher Tote 
is one of those four beings. Cindy does get information directly from Tote. She has received the information for the song and the medallion directly from Tote. She's received other instructions directly from Tote. But the message that we're going to be reading from today, the messages will be from Lantos, Ascended Master Lantos. Okay, let's continue. I'll start over with that sentence. The song and the medallion are the great tools, the great tools of our beloved master teacher, Tote. The song has existed in various forms since the earliest period of creation. The song is an instrument. It is a sublime instrument, an instrument which governs the energy and flow of creation. The great tool initiates energy, energy and sound. It is from the blessed energies initialized within the physical form of the great tool that pure energies emerge. So from this, we have a basic understanding that the Song of the Spheres, as well as the Medallion, will have the ability to control various aspects of energy. It is an instrument. It is a tool. But it is the personal tool of Tote, and it has been around since the earliest points of time in creation. That means that this tool significantly predates Earth and life on Earth. Lantos came to Cindy and spoke at length about the song. Now, for these messages, when I mention the song, I'm going to be referring collectively to the Song of the Spheres and the Medallion, except for a few areas where there will be a distinction made between the Song of the Spheres and the Medallion, because there are some differences between the two tools. But when those differences arise, we will clarify those differences. I'll highlight them to you. So except in those circumstances, just assume that when I'm talking about the Song, I'm also talking about the Medallion. Lanto said, the Song, the beloved Song, the song of the spheres. The song is the great tool of Tote. It is the tool known as the mighty Ankh. I should pause right there and say yes. For those of you who are familiar with a tool called the Ankh from ancient Egypt, this is that tool. So the Ankh was a tool that was used by Tote in Egypt. And this is the same tool but in a different form with a different name. It is the tool known as the mighty Ankh. Through the spinning rotations of this great cosmic device, the spheres get enlivened. It is an energizing of the spheres. This mighty tool governs the spheres. What object can govern the vast and mighty cosmic spheres? Certainly no object, no object, Regardless of size, regardless of strength, none can govern the great spheres. None can influence the vast cosmic realms. Certainly, there can be no such object with the strength to sway these massive, stellar bodies. Is this the case? Is this the case? It would seem to be the case. It would seem an obvious thing. Yet. Yet. There is one thing, one thing which can govern these mightiest forms of creation. There is one thing. What is this? Yes, what is this? In this year of the great knowledge of creation, the answer to this mystery is revealed to us. The song. That which governs form is the song. It is the song of creation. It is the song of the source. It is that which gels creation. It is that out of which creation is. From essence to form, from vibration to matter, the song of the source is the song of the spheres. The supreme almighty source initiates the song, and material substance forms around the harmonic locations. Matter emerges through harmonics. The beloved seeds are the notes. The song is the play of the notes. 
The song is the melody of these precious notes. It is the symphony of the beloved seeds of creation. The song is unseen, yet its influence is felt by all. The song of the spheres is played for all existence. The song of the spheres is that unseen melody of the source of creation. The song is the beloved personal tool of our master teacher, Tote. Our great teacher, Tote, was among the early beings. The tool was formed to govern the spheres of creation. It is called the great tool. The great tool has taken different forms at different times. The shape is that form which can support the energies of harmonics in that period of time. The Ankh was the form of the great tool during the previous time of Egypt. The shape of the Ankh supported the spin key values, and while the Realm Lord's existence was acknowledged, its value was not revealed. Its value remained unexpressed. Let me take just a moment to explain what Lantos is saying here. When he said that the Realm Lord's value remained unexpressed in the Ankh. You can see on the picture the top, the hollow circle of the Ankh. This is what acknowledges the positioning of the Realm Lord, but there is nothing in there. It is unexpressed. In our Song of the Spheres and the Medallion, the inner spinning part is the way, that's what it is called, and at the top of the way there is a pearl or a glass sphere. This is representing the Realm Lord. So in the song and in the medallion, the Realm Lord is not only acknowledged, it is physically expressed. This makes the song of the spheres more powerful than the Ankh was in the days of Egypt. In another time prior to Egypt, the rotational value of initial rotations was expressed and the tool was formed with a swirling central barrel. Different times, different forms. In our time, the great tool arrives in the beloved form of the song and the medallion. Each possesses the swirling element of initial rotations. Each possesses the full form of the realm lord and spin keys. These are the great tools of Tote. The spinning inner rotations energize the seeds of creation. The thrice-initiated spin generates form. It is enough to say this. There is no mistake in these words of expression. The thrice-initiated spin generates form. This is the personal tool, the great tool of the master early being, our beloved teacher Tote. Each of these precious tools is the personal tool of Tote. Each generates the forms of creating, the forms of creation. As one thrice initiates spin on the inner form of the way, the process of Genesis fusion takes place. It is a process of energizing all that is found in the environment. It is the process of energy becoming form around the harmonics which are found present in the environment. It is the process of energy emerging as form. This is the process of the creation of form. So we see the song and the medallion control energy but on a scale much grander than we can actually comprehend, Lantos made this clear, the vast celestial spheres, the mightiest of stellar bodies in all of creation, the mightiest forms in all of creation, are influenced, are commanded by the song of the spheres. You do it by spinning that inner part. This inner part that spins is called the way. You spin this and it will create energy 
and it will impact those great cosmic spheres. This is what the song does. Let's go through a message from Lantos that goes into greater depth, talking about how the song actually works. Energy is generated in the spin. It is through, through the process of the spin that, in, in, that energy emerges. Let me take a moment right there to highlight what he just said. This spinning of the inner way is how you activate the song and the medallion. This is how you activate it. It is through the spin that the song actually works. And when Lanto says thrice initiated spin, that means the instruction is to spin it three times. So you spin it once, you spin it a second time, then you spin it a third time. And with those three spins, you generate Genesis fusion, you control, you influence the mighty great cosmic spheres. Okay, let's continue with Lantos's message. Energy is generated in the spin. It is through the process of the spin that energy emerges. Three spins of the way. The way is the process of initial rotations, the initial rotations of creation. The way is the process out of which all of creation emerges. In our beloved tool of the song, we spin the way. We spin the way three times. This process activates the energy of initial rotations within the individual and within the environment. It is a physical activation of the process of creating on the physical plane of existence. One activates that energy which gives rise to creation. What a great achievement. Such a beloved tool. The song activates on the physical plane of existence the elemental energy which gives rise to creation. It is a magnificent tool. Activation of the energies to create. This is the master tool of Tote. Since inception, this mighty master tool has been safeguarded by the great early being, Tote. And now, now in this blessed holy season of the year of the flying seed, our beloved master teacher Tote shares with us this mighty master tool. We offer our deepest thanks for this most precious gift. In our hands, we hold the tool of Tote, that tool which activates the energies of creation, the energies of creating. And what are we creating? We are creating all. All. We may direct these energies through intent. In our practice of creating, we direct the energies which form creation. We move the elemental energies. We direct these elemental energies into form, specific form. This, dear ones, is creating. When we spin, thrice spin, the way, this activates the elemental forces. It is through our intent that these forces move into form. Through intent, we shape form. We direct the energy through intent. Now you know the story of the mighty tool which our beloved master teacher Tote has held, held in safekeeping throughout time. This beloved tool activates the deepest we will say the most basic, most subtle, most sublime energies of existence. These are the early energies of creation. These are the early forces which structure creation. Spin, 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 thrice spin. Through this process, the energies of initial rotations form. Yes, these energies form within the individual who initiates the thrice spin. The inner elements, the spheres within the way become enlivened, enlivened for the individual, enlivened for the environment. 
With each spin, enlivenment is directed by the intent, and at the same time, each spin offers enlivenment to the inner spheres of the way. Now, let me take a break and say what Lantas is talking about now is the little spheres that are inside. There are three spheres that are inside this spinning part called the way. Those three are very important. They direct these energies. It determines which seed of creation is going to be enlivened. Now, in the Song of the Spheres, all songs of the spheres use the exact same formation. The formation which will enliven seed number eight. This is called the World Mother Seed. It enlivens the energies that are the mother for the entire world, for Earth. In the medallions, you can get a medallion with seed eight represented inside, but you can also get a medallion where the seeds are specific to you. Based on your time, date, and location of birth, you will have a specific seed of creation that is your inception seed. It is your seed of inception. It is your seed of destiny. And when you enliven that seed, it benefits all areas of your life, from your physical health, to your happiness, to your destiny, the fulfillment of your path in life. Everything in your life becomes enlivened when you enliven the inception seed. So the, the idea is to find out which seed is your seed of inception. We help you with that. And then you get a medallion that has those three spheres inside that are specifically calibrated to your seed of creation. There are 81 seeds of creation. One of them is going to be your inception seed. So the medallion can be spe uh, special to you, specified to your inception seed. The Song of the Spheres is specified to the World Mother Seed. Now here is what Lanto says about that. The spheres of the World Mother are universal for all the spheres of the World Mother bring enliv enlivenment to the individual, to humanity, and to all life on Earth. This is the blessing of the World Mother. All may receive the song of the World Mother. So the World Mother, seed number eight, will provide you with a direct benefit, direct blessings. But when you enliven the song of the spheres with the seed eight, with the World Mother seed in it, this enlivenment, these blessings, extend far beyond you. They extend to everyone on earth and to the earth itself. Lantos continued, one may also select the spheres of one's inception seed. The seed of inception contains the energies to direct the course of this life. The source, the course of life, the fulfillment of life, all is contained within the seed of inception. We call this the seed of destiny. Individual destiny is located within the seed of inception. To thrice spin the way of the inception seed brings sublime energy and radiance to the individual path of life. Yes, very good. Each spin opens finer and finer levels of experience. Each spin brings fuller and fuller elemental balance to the cellular sequence code of the physical plane. And each spin generates greater and greater radiant light of the sublime source within the heart and within the supreme life presence. In this beloved year, the year of the inception of the eon of eternal light, we have received our beloved master tool of the flying seed. In this precious holy season, we now receive our supreme tool. This is the mighty tool of Tote. Dear ones, in this year of the highest knowledge, during these weeks of the holy season, the tool which we call supreme arrives for the blessings of all. With this tool, we activate the early energies, 
We enliven the elemental substance, which spirals forth into the vast expressions of creation. The radiant brilliance of the seeds are collected within the palms of the hands of each individual, as each expands to be one, one equal to the universe. In this holy season, we light the spheres of creation. Creation rejoices in the full assembly of the tools of eternal light. Our beloved pendant of eternal light, igniting the flame of initial rotations. Our beloved chamber of eternal light, enlivening the lands and waters with the light of Genesis. Our beloved master tool of the flying seed, enlivening all spheres of creation within the individual experience. And now, within the radiance of the, of the eon of eternal light, the great tool of the eon emerges. The song emerges. It is the song of the almighty source of creation. Yes, this supreme tool is the great tool which has been secured for all time by our beloved master teacher, Tote. These precious tools illumine our earth, blessing all, uplifting all. These tools are the physical forms of the great elemental energies for earth. Throughout time, the great ones have assembled forms to generate in some manner the energies of initial rotations, the process of creation. In Egypt, the Great Pyramid was erected as the form representing the beloved flying seed, the container of the spheres. The mighty Sphinx was designated to perform the role of great central translator. Tote carried the great tool in the form of the Ankh. The chamber of eternal light was placed within the Great Pyramid and considered to reflect the heavens above. In this way, the civilization of Egypt received the blessed energies of the elements of creation. Yet, these energies were offered to only a few. Only the rulers received the blessings of the great tool of Tote. In Egypt, only the rulers received initiation into the spheres represented in the form of the physical pyramid. The knowledge was partial. The tools were available to only the few. You see, dear ones, this time of ours is most propitious. We are in the eon of eternal light. There is none more fortunate in the halls of time than we. In this supreme age of light, we receive the master tools. The song is the supreme gift to humanity. The song is for all. Supreme light for all. Sublime grace for all. Our beloved tools of eternal light together form one. Each holds a luminous position in the physical formation of the sublime essence of the source on earth. Each represents the highest light of the supreme in form. Each offers to humanity the way. Together, as one, these luminous sublime tools offer the way to fullness, the way to all. These tools control vast energies within creation, the most powerful forces in creation. The mighty great cosmic spheres are influenced, are directed by these tools. When you spin the inner part called the way, you are controlling, igniting an energy and controlling those mighty cosmic spheres. So what does this mean? Well, it means that you are able to influence an outcome for you in your life or for someone else in their life or for everyone else on the planet. You are able to use these energies to create an outcome. This is why Lantos calls it creating. 
you create an outcome. Now, how do you do this? Well, with the song, you can simply spin it and focus on a desire. That's fine. Remember to spin it three ways. You have your attention on your heart. You focus on the desire as you spin the inner way of the song three times. And this will have an effect at helping to bring that desire into creation. But I've spoken about the seeds of creation. There are 81 seeds of creation. These are markers in creation. And regardless of your desire, whatever your desire may be, whether it's for health, whether it's for happiness, whether it's for love, whether it's for prosperity, whether it's direction in life for you or for someone else, whether it is happiness within the family or success within the workplace, whatever your desire may be, one of those 81 seeds is going to be most directly related to that particular desire. You enliven a seed with a seed phrase. This could be just two words or it could be a sentence or two sentences, but it's a seed phrase. And when you introduce that phrase within your heart and then spin the way three times with the song, this enlivens that seed of creation. And when you enliven the seed of creation, it begins to move these elemental energies, these mighty great cosmic spheres to generate an outcome for you based on your desire, based on the enlivenment of that particular seed of creation. Now, I said that there was a difference between the Song of the Spheres and the Medallion. You can see there's a difference in how they are actually constructed, how they're made. The Medallion has a solid exterior. The perimeter is solid, whereas the Song, the perimeter, is hollow and has all of these colored beads within it. These colored spheres represent the 27 great cosmic spheres. Those are the 27 wheels of Genesis that we've had for some time that are contained within this, but they hold the energies of the 27 great cosmic spheres. You can use the Song of the Spheres to enliven any of the 81 seeds of creation, regardless of your desire. You can enliven any desire, or you can enliven any of the 81 seeds of creation just by thinking of the seed phrase and spinning the inner way. With the medallion, what you can do is you can enliven the seed that is represented by the three spheres within the way of the medallion. To enliven any of the other 80 seeds of creation, you would simply hold one of our wheels of Genesis in your left hand while you hold the medallion, and then you introduce the seed phrase for that seed and spin the way. So the medallion is still able to enliven all 81 seeds, but you have to use the wheels of Genesis with it in order to do that. The Song of the Spheres does not require the use of the wheels because it contains the influence within itself. Now, one final thing to consider about the medallion and about the song. Many of you have great practice with creating because you've been involved with us for the last 10 years as we've focused on the creating techniques. But for some of you, this is brand new. This is new information to you, a brand new concept. And you may be wondering, will you be capable of doing it? Yes, everyone is capable of doing this, but that's not all. With the medallion, because we can specify it to you, we can personalize it, to your inception seed, or to that of someone who you want to provide this benefit to. It could be a spouse. It could be a sibling or a child, a parent. It could be a close friend of yours, someone who you care deeply about, someone who you want to help in their life. You can get a medallion that is personalized to that person's inception seed. And then when that person holds the medallion in their left hand and they spin the way with the right hand three times, just spinning it three times easily, as long as they focus on their heart and they spin the way three times, it will work for them. It will enliven all of those energies 
associated with their inception seed, making every aspect of their life better, noticeably. This is a great benefit, both with the song and the medallion, but since the song comes with seed number eight, the world mother, it specifically enlivens that seed every single time you use it, and then you can also enliven any of the 81 seeds just by introducing the seed phrase. But with the medallion, without introducing any seed phrase whatsoever, just spinning the way three times, it will enliven that individual's inception seed, provided that they're using a medallion that has been personalized for their inception seed. Okay, here is the information we have right now about the Song of the Spheres and about the medallion. It is significant. These tools are going to make your life better to a degree that you've never thought possible. But more importantly, they are going to help everyone else in the world as well. As you use these tools to help yourself, you will be helping everyone else. And when you think of how you can help a family member or a close friend, the personalized medallion is the greatest gift you could ever give to anyone because that is the gift of benefiting every aspect of their life and their path in life. When you get the song or the medallion or both, we of course provide extensive training for you through videos and any information that you need. If you have questions for us, call us, but otherwise go ahead and try the Song of the Spheres and the medallion. Your satisfaction is guaranteed, so if you're not happy with it, we'll just give you your money back. But I can tell you, you're going to be satisfied with it. Not only will you be satisfied, you're going to look at this as one of the best moves you've made in your life, because it's going to be one of the most important ones you've made in your life. Everyone, thanks for listening, and welcome to the Eon of Eternal Light.